We have got so much to talk about with Jenna Tom Nini from GT Communications. Haven't seen you a while for a I've while, been away, Gemma. Chris, I've been yeah, great right, to have you back, Gemma. Ponies. Also, <laughs> Sky News contributor Catherine Deves on the desk as well. I want to start with you, Catherine, because this stuff is uh, what you've been talking about for years now. This is <laughs> gender reassignment and gender treatments for children in this country. The reports out of Melbourne now: children as young as, as six are being treated through a hospital process. I mean, this was, every individual case has got to be considered, of course, by parents and doctors and whatever, but it looks so disturbing and worrying for us, doesn't it? Well, these children are often presenting with a whole lot of vulnerabilities. They have... Um... You know, there's family bereavement, some of them are in care, uh, they have mental health issues, they're suffering bullying, etc. And they are being taught that the, prob the solution to their problems is their gender identity. Particularly some of these older kids, they go online, uh, they are sold that narrative. And then the issue with these clinics is once they're there, they are put onto a medicalised pathway. There is this understanding out there that children are undergoing all sorts of psychological uh, assessment and that is, that is simply not true. The Melbourne Clinic is based on Tavistock and the Tavistock is currently in the midst of an enormous scandal. There was a book released on uh, the weekend uh, blowing the lid on it even further. Um, and there were extreme things being done to kids, uh, as I said before, kids who are vulnerable showing up and being put on these pathways that are irreversible. Yeah, and they're medical. The thing here, Gemma, that, that strikes me, and I heard this from a psychologist, it made, it made such sense, and that is the most important here should be acceptance. Whatever they're going through, these people, children, should be accepted and made to feel comfortable about who they are rather than using some medical intervention to change who they are. Right, I understand. Yeah, look, it's... it's I think about this issue a, a lot. Uh, I, I, I struggle to understand it. I, tr I struggle to understand how any medical professional can look at a child and we say in society that children are unable to consent to a variety of things because they are cognitively unable to take responsibility for the decision. So are these doctors, this is my question, and I wonder how quickly some of these clinics would shut down if the doctors who are prescribing these irreversible pathways of, of life-altering treatment are then held responsible for that treatment for the lifetime of that child. What six-year-old can understand and, and, and what doctor, for the life of me... I have an arts degree, let's be clear. I don't have a medical <laughs> degree. But what doctor, for the life of me, can look at a six-year-old and go, I'm going to put that child on an irreversible path of medical treatment that may ruin its life because they know they're not responsible? It is such a fraud area and we've only begun to see the repercussions uh, through all, all of our countries.